the Nintendo NX called the Nintendo NX. It's now called the Nintendo Switch. Pretty catchy name. First I thought, eh, it's okay, it's not bad, but okay. But it actually got pretty catchy when I kept saying it. Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch. And I'm gonna show you some screenshot and tell you what I think. So first you can see a guy and um, playing with it. Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Switch. It looks like a traditional home system. But not until the next screenshot. As you can see, here's a docking station. You're probably wondering, what's this thing in the middle? Is it a disk drive? Nope, it's a screen. See, you could detach the controllers and then turn it into this. And, um, first of all, I'm glad Nintendo's aiming at a good demographic. I'm talking about the adults. Because children don't game anymore. Well, they do, but they're rare. And adults do game more. So finally, Nintendo realized it's a different market. Gaming is evolved. Anyway, so as you can see here, he's continuing to play Zelda Breath of the Wild outside. Yup, outside. And then as you can see, here's a guy going on a business trip. He really wants to stay home and play Breath of the Wild. But he doesn't need to with the Nintendo Switch. He can put it on the... Detach the controllers and attach it to the screen. And then take it on the go. And here's the next screen shot. And the cartridge trademark rumors true now i thought it may be a port to the 3ds i but i did also think it was unlikely very unlikely but maybe it was i thought that it's a new home console i guess this nx that's what it was called at the time now it's called the switch so yeah it's used cartridges it's better than discs actually the loading times are faster, you don't have to install anything, it, everything's saved on the cartridge. The performance is way better, far better. And yeah, good thing they used cartridges, um, good move Nintendo. And here's the next screenshot, you could see him playing Skyrim on a plane. This is showing that Nintendo will deliver third party support. But we don't know. They're promising it. Looks like they're promising it. They're showing Skyrim. And Bethesda said. No support for the system. Unless it's on par with the Xbox One. At the very least. And look. They're supporting it. I don't know. Maybe they changed their mind. And they're doing it to see how it sells. Or maybe they still stuck to it. They still stuck to their old plan. No games unless it's on par with Xbox One and hardware. Speaking of hardware, it's going to be using the NVIDIA Tegra chip. It's a customized chip from NVIDIA. It's going to be using the architecture from the world's top performing GeForce video cards. I'm thinking it's Pascal or Volt. Uh, I'm not sure. Most likely Pascal. And yeah. It's pretty cool as you can see he detached the controllers and he could play it like that and oh my god a headphone jack and a new system and here's the same guy uh, playing Skyrim at home yup he's playing it at home it might look better at home I'm not sure doesn't say that in the trailer doesn't tell it I can't tell but maybe Nintendo's doing it hope they are I hope the dock is at least on in the middle of PS4 and PS4 Pro in power. Let's hope the handheld part is on par with Xbox One. So yeah, we'll see what's gonna happen. And look, two grown men are playing with nuggets. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's comfortable, but maybe it is. Maybe it's fine. It's not gonna be ergonomic, obviously. There's... 99.9% .9 chance it's not ergonomic, but it's gonna be fine. It's fine. I'm f I'm fine with my hands, but with people with big hands, eh, this is a concern for them. But hey, I don't see many adults playing split screen, but it would be a concern. I really hope Tendo finds a way to make it, you know, fit in your hands perfectly.
won't be slippery and annoying and all. Let's hope it, they do something about it. So as you can see, here's the holding the analog stick. And I see why they did the split D-pad. Because they wanted to, let's say, I don't know, make turn them into buttons if they're playing in split screen, right? So yeah, here they are playing Mario Kart 9, I guess, or Mario Kart 8 Remastered. Hoping it's Mario Kart 9, it'll probably sell more. Let's hope this is ready for launch. I'm not saying they should rush it out for launch. I'm saying, I hope it's ready. So yeah, and here's a bunch of guys playing basketball. And they stop to play NBA. Wow. And here they are playing NBA 2K17. At least it seems like it. And, and they're playing the same way they're playing in with the two people in the car playing Mario Kart. But it seems like they're playing an ad hoc. If you don't know what ad hoc is, it's it's something where, you know, you play with a handheld with someone next to you with another handheld. Here, let me explain. Imagine you have two PS Vitas and you get one guy with and you have a PS Vita. You can join a game by connecting to each other. It's not online exactly. It's not the worldwide. You don't need to sign in. And you just need to connect, I think. And actually, you don't need to connect. It's, it works offline, I think. I believe it works offline, but I'm not sure. I haven't used the PSV, my PS Vita for a long time. Anyways, so here's a new Mario game. Yay, it looks gorgeous. I think it's running at 1080p. And you can see a Mexican town. And look, here's the next screenshot. It looks like it's running on Unreal Engine 4. Makes sense since Epic Games is partnering with Nintendo and it's on the third party uh, board list and I'm gonna go back to that later. And I love the demographic they're aiming at. It's see, it's a woman trying to go to her friends and keep and she wants to keep on playing. So what she do? She attaches the controller so and take his it takes it with her. And then she she shows it that it what it's all about. And see, Nintendo's trying to show you what this system's all about. And are those amiibos? They're trying to show you. See, as you can see here, she's handing a controller. They're really, really, really trying to ape at those people who are busy. And don't worry, they're not leaving the core audience behind. As you can see, it's a great system for esports. It's a perfect system for esports. Anyway, you can see here it's Splatoon. And maybe there's another Splatoon port. It's pretty much a Splatoon port that's enhanced. What do you know? Another port. Exciting, actually. I'm so hyped for that. I cannot wait to play that. Pro controller for the system, by the way. Looks pretty good. It's actually as good as the GameCube controller. Possibly better, actually. It's actually better. So yeah, here's the first look at the Nintendo Switch trailer. And now I'm gonna show you who's on board with the third parties. Who's who's gonna be making games for the system? At least with Nintendo saying I don't know if they're gonna deliver it. Here's the list. So 505 games, Activision, and our creation, Atlas. Beth uh, Bethesda, Bandai Namco, Capcom, Codemasters, EA, From Software, Frozen Byte, Froz yeah, Frozen Byte, uh, Game Trust, and I don't know who's that, and Gung Ho, Hamster Creations, Anti Create, KT, Konami, Levels, Marvelous, Maximum Games, and I don't know who's that, yeah. Party Bit, P Star, Sega, Spike Chunsoft, Square Enix, oh, Square Enix, good. Uh, I don't know either. T2 Interactive, Telltale Games, THQ Nordic, R G T T Games, uh, Ubisoft, uh, Warner Brothers. I don't. A lot of some of these developers, I don't know who they are. I know 505 Games, but not a lot. W anyways, continue. W W I Wise. Yeah, I don't know them either. Autodesk, Cryware. I've heard of Cryware before. Then. 
DNA, yeah, they made mobile games before. So, since it's a portable device, yeah, I would see why. And here's Epic Games, see, I told you. And Unreal Engine 4 support is confirmed, it's a good thing. It means porting is easy, it's a piece of cake, good. Fmod, Havoc, I know Havoc, Rad, and Silicon Studio, Ubi, Unity, and Web Technology. See, there's a lot of third parties on board, but please Nintendo deliver, because you didn't deliver with the Wii U, you absolutely failed to deliver. So, I'm gonna hope this time you actually legitimately deliver it. Please, Nintendo, please. Anyway, so, what are my thoughts? No specs have been revealed, no price has been revealed, no battery life has been revealed. But, NVIDIA's working on a custom Tegra chip, I think I've said that in the video. They're working on a custom Tegra chip with Pascal, I did say that actually. And yeah, I'm really hyped. For that system, I'm very excited. Even though it won't get third party support, I, not saying that it won't, but even if it doesn't, even if it doesn't, I'm still gonna get it. I love Nintendo first party support, it's a very cool system, it's a very cool concept. I like the portability aspect. Some people don't like it actually, but I like it, it's perfect. It's perfect for those who are busy with life and they want to play games on the go because they don't have time to just play at home they want a triple a experience anywhere in your toilet in your bed in their plane as, as you've seen and yeah i'm very excited for the system and you're probably asking me will i buy it yes i will but i'm not gonna buy it at launch i'm gonna wait until summer 2017 so because not that free in March. So I'm not going to get it in March, but I will get it. I might get it in March, but it's a small chance. So anyways, what are your thoughts? Will you pick up the system? Um, will you wait for more information? Are you even excited? Are you doubting the system? You don't want it? It's Leave your thoughts below in the comments and I'll see you guys soon.